While you spend 40 minutes on one Etsy listing, my system has already created 20 listings. A complete listing from photo to SEO in just two minutes. Writing manually today is voluntarily losing the market. I'll show you how to stop being a slave to your store. You're up until 2 a.m. in front of 20 tabs of ChatGPT, Etsy, Pinterest. You're working on your 12th listing. Your eyes are burning and the text is almost unreadable. But there are people who make 200 listings a month without staying up until 2 a.m. They use a system. And in this video, I'll show you how to use this system and how to build it yourself. My name is Andrew and I create business automation solutions. When you have a lot of manual tasks, I make it so that the system handles them. A year ago, a client from Etsy approached me. They have 50 listings and spend about 20 hours on optimizing them or creating a few new ones. I developed the first scripts. Now there are eight operational systems. Why does Etsy even work? Because Etsy has 95 million potential buyers. You can sell globally from home, handmade items, digital goods, clay products, vintage items, anything. One client who has almost 60,000 sales over the years, I asked, how did you achieve this? The reply was simple and painful. They created one to two listings every day together with their father. Then they hired someone to do it for them. The formula is simple. More listings mean more chances to sell. Let's assume conservatively, you are a beginner and created 50 listings. The average product cost is $50. With a conversion rate of two to 5%, you get about five to 15 sales. That's roughly 250 to $750. And now let's consider the situation when you already have a store and have created 200 listings. That's already about 40 to 60 sales. With the same average check of $50, you get from $2,000 to $3,000. Feel the scale? And now the problem, how to create these 200 listings without burning out. Typical process, product photo, name, description, 13 tags, categories, delivery, and repeat 50 times. Yes, there is chat GPT, but let's be honest. How does it all happen? You open chat GPT, explain the product, wait for a response, edit, make changes, copy, paste. You are just switching one routine for another. You've got a bunch of tabs open, chat GPT, Pinterest, Etsy, Translator, SEO optimization, and you no longer remember what you were searching for in the eighth tab. You're like a hamster in a wheel, photo, title, description, tags, post, and tomorrow it's the same cycle again. And the store grows by two to three listings a week because there's no more energy. Old listings are untouched, orders are scattered, no analytics. Question, what if 70 to 80% of this work can be automated? Now to the point, how does it work technically? Make is a builder that assembles everything into one system. You connect Telegram, OpenAI, Google Drive, Google Sheets. AI sees a photo, analyzes it, writes texts, descriptions, selects keywords. Make collects everything into the system. AI analyzes the photograph. Make creates a draft listing and sends it to Etsy. An order arrives. It automatically goes into Google Sheets. A new listing is created, Instagram makes a new post. There are stores with more than 500 listings. Do you think they sit and write descriptions around the clock? No, they automated all of this three years ago. You are playing a game where half of the players have been using cheats for a long time. And in this video, I will show you which cheats can be used. Everything works through the official Etsy API. Make only creates a draft. You check and publish. The result, you take photos and create the strategy, the system copies and pastes. Okay, moving on to the screen. Now you see all eight scenarios on the screen. I will go over the most important scenario in more detail. It's creating listings. All the modules are structured in a logical sequence and have been tested on many clients. So I can confidently say that they work for various niches whether physical goods or digital products. Although I have a separate script for digital products where files are uploaded, the first module reviews photos that appear in the folder. After you upload a photo, the module triggers. It checks for new photos every minute and then uploads the photo. The read from photo module is ChatGPT Vision, which allows you to view photos and produce a result. This result is processed by the next AI agent, created based on a prompt and template. It only generates a title by analyzing the previous agent's response and the instructions you provided. 
The next AI module writes other data, description, tags, and other fields if necessary. Next, an important module, the structure of the response. We need the agent's response to be structured by fields because when we create a listing on Etsy, each field is filled separately. After this, the main module is Etsy. To connect your account, you need to click Add and just log in. You don't need to look for an API or register as a developer. We just insert the necessary data in the right places, specify the quantity, price. These can be edited in the draft before publication. We also specify personalization, instructions, and click save. Next is the tag module. Tags are keywords by which customers find you in the Etsy store. Therefore, we not only generate tags through ChatGPT, but also take them from pre-prepared keyword lists from the eRank platform. You can take your specific niche or category, make a list in Excel, and upload them. Maybe it could even be several categories, as in my example, which I will show you now. The system itself, the voice agent itself, will choose keywords from the already prepared tables. We can move on. We have two scenarios in one here. As we want to look at the table with our keywords per our agent's request. As soon as our tag creation agent for our listing sees a request that he needs to create a listing, he goes to the Google Sheet reads the list of all keywords exactly for this category. He can recognize product categories based on a previous photo identified by our AI agent. Then he generates 13 tags. We structure and split these tags into the necessary fields and update the tags. That means we save each tag in a separate field. Next, we need to create a router. What does router mean? It divides our process into several branches. The first branch is to read the photo again, but with a different focus, focusing on the alt text so that we can add alt text to our photo and Google and other search engines can understand what is depicted in this photo. For example, when a person searches by image, like a neon sign, they might find your sign too because they know it's a photo in your listing with a neon sign. Thereafter, the publication occurs and the photo goes to the trash, waste basket, or it may be moved to another folder of yours so it doesn't get filled with old photos. After completing the first branch, the process of loading and viewing the next nine additional photos begins. We will preload them. The photos have loaded and then the creation and analysis of the photos for writing alt text for these nine photos takes place. After that, they either go into another folder or into the trash. Let's now see how this actually works. Is it not just a picture? We need to run the script run once. But since we don't have a photo, we go to Google Drive and choose a photo to add to the product. We move it to a pre-created folder. One folder means one main photo. And the next folder means nine auxiliary photos. Here is our photo. Now we just need to run the script so that it works now. So we can see the photo has been found uploaded, and now our chat GPT is analyzing the photo according to the given prompt of creating a title, description, and additional fields. The entire process to create one listing takes on average two minutes. So you can calculate how many listings you can create per day and per week. But I recommend posting two to five listings a day so that you have enough ideas for creating listings for as long a period as possible. Because Etsy is always interested in those shops that are active. Actively adding listings, updating listings. So we see that creating the listing and adding the alt text is already quickly finished. Next will be a slightly longer process as we have nine photographs. For each picture, we need to create an alt text and read it first. The first photo is done, and now the second. I think I will pause it now so you don't have to watch this for too long. Or I'll fast forward it.
and yes, we have finished the process of creating the listing, November 17th. And here is what we have. We have a created photo caption. You can go and review the alt text. The alt text is ready according to our template. And it's exactly the same with other photos. In all the photos. Of course, you can add as many photos as you need. Right now, it's up to 20 photos. Next is the product description. The description matches the keywords and the title. Sizes, personalization, pack items we have, delivery, everything as you like. Then we look at the buyer's instructions, which are also indicated. This follows our template. You can edit the price. Quantity 2. What do you need to change here? It's only the category, materials, keywords, acrylic, keywords, QR code, how many days are required for production, type of delivery, weight, dimensions, everything is filled in. You just have to decide whether to make this a futures listing and whether to advertise it, although it could also have been done automatically. I always choose it manually. And then we click Publish Changes. And our listing automatically goes to the active listings. Next, I will show you other scripts of mine which are also important for automating your business processes, but at a slightly faster pace. The second script is also very important for updating listings because Etsy always monitors shop activity and decides whether to show you more often or not. We send the ID of the listing we want to update to the Telegram bot. Then Etsy finds this listing via the API and the AI agent locates our tables with our keywords in a random way, mixes the keywords and writes down new words. We update this listing. Then Etsy starts to think again that this is some updated listing and begins to add us to the recommended ones. Next scenario, let's quickly go over it. This is the recording of our new orders in a Google spreadsheet. Why is this? Of course, for analytics, a new order has arrived. The order has been received with all the details, product, price, date of purchase, last name, first name, email. And you can continue to work or add this client to your CRM or track analytics on the products that sell well and those that don't to make decisions about which products to discontinue and which to add. The fourth scenario is the loading of old orders. Since you are about to create this system now, I assume you already have some sales and might want to download them into an Excel sheet with all the data. He also looks at old orders and downloads a Google Sheet. Fifth scenario, posting your photos on Instagram. You uploaded a photo. The Instagram module creates auto-posting and the AI agent helps us write captions, hashtags, and scans photos. I think this is clear. I won't dwell on it for long. If there are questions, write in the comments. The seventh scenario is creating a listing and automatically posting on Pinterest. Creating pins. So if you add 10 photos, 10 pins are created with captions and links to this listing. And the eighth scenario is a telegram alert. The Etsy module waits for a new order. As soon as he receives it, he sends it to you on telegram. You can give this bot to your managers, use it yourself, and see when it needs to be processed. How to start. The first option is to do it all yourself. What do you need? Create an account. Link is in the description. There is a free plan, OpenAI API key, and Etsy store. First, you register an account on Make, get an OpenAI API key, connect the Etsy store to Make, and start creating the script. The first module is Google Drive, where you upload your photos. The next module is ChatJPT, which analyzes your photos. Then the AI agent from Make, which works based on GPT, writes the title, description, tags, and the Etsy module which will create a draft of your listing with the information received from the previous AI agents. Next, you test how your script works. Edit your AI agent's instructions if needed. Once the script is ready, you can run it whenever and as many times as you need. And the second option is simply to get ready-made scripts. You can follow the link. I have put it all into one package. Both the first and second options are fully functional. It remains for you to decide whether to start working with Etsy or not, and whether to create the script yourself, or to receive and download the ready-made ones. Etsy is a working platform. You make more listings, more customers see you, 
and you can make more sales. The main problem is the routine. AI plus make takes over this routine. You create the product, you take the photos yourself. And finally, Etsy is like a concert hall with 95 million viewers. You have a cool product, but with only 10 listings, poor descriptions, zero SEO, you are like the artist who bought a ticket to their own concert but doesn't have the energy to perform. And automation. It's not about AI doing everything for you. It's just about having the energy to step onto that stage. Now your choice? Either start working with Etsy or not. Either use the system or do everything manually. If the video was helpful, like and subscribe. This will help YouTube algorithms promote and show this video to other people. I also answer all questions in the comments.